Hi everyone, in this video I will show you that how you can fix the Wellride game DirectX 12 is not supported on your system. Guys, unfortunately there is no one fix to fix this problem. I will show you the multiple methods to fix this problem. You just need to apply them one by one and see which fixes your problem. First go to the window set, type here the dxdiag and this run command will show on the top. So you just need to open it here you will see the DirectX version so you just need to make sure it is the DirectX 12. If you see here the DirectX 11 or the 10 then you just need to update your operating system. You can go to the windows here type here the windows update and open it and here if you will see any kind of update available for your windows then you just need to simply update your operating system. This will automatically install the DirectX 12. After that, just restart your PC and see your problem is fixed or not. If your problem is not fixed, then open up the Steam, go to the Steam library, click on the game which is the well right. Click on the gear icon and go to the game properties and go to the launch option and here you can simply type minus DX11. Guys, this is the command that you need to type and then just simply play the game and see your problem is fixed or not. If your problem is not fixed then go to the properties again and just simply remove this command. And guys if these are not the problem then the problem is with your graphic card. You just need to update your graphic card. You can go to the windows set up the device manager and simply open it. Here you will see the display adapter simply open it and you will see your graphic card simply update it. Guys if you have the Nvidia graphic card then just simply open up the Nvidia software and update your graphic card. If you have the AMD software, then open up the AMD software and update your graphic card. If your problem is still not fixed, then you can search for the DirectX 12 download on your any browser. And just open up the first Microsoft website and this will start downloading the DirectX 12 automatically. So once it was downloaded, this is the very small setup and then you just need to open it and install it into your PC. Once you install it guys, then you just need to restart your PC and after the restart your problem is definitely fixed. And guys, I hope one of these solutions work for you and if yes, please don't forget to like this video because this is only motivation for me. And I will see you guys in the next video.